The DJI Mavic Air has some of the most advanced obstacle avoidance features on the market today. But how well do they work when you're actually behind the controller? Let's find out. What's up everybody, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Now we've been flying the Mavic Air for about two weeks now, and basically I'm in love with this drone. We've done a whole bunch of tests on it. One of the questions I get asked all the time is how well does the advanced piloting system actually work? So we're gonna try that out today. We're gonna do a whole bunch of different obstacles. We're gonna try single trees, we're gonna try buildings, and we're gonna try, as you can see here, whole copes, cops, copes, cops, groups of trees. And we're gonna see how well it can fly when you're manually piloting it. So we saw how it works the other day with Active Track. You can watch that video here. So let's see how it works when you're just manually flying with the controller. Let's set it up. Okay, first up, single tree. Activating a pass is really hard, really hard. You just have to touch this button and, and then it's good. I guess I don't know what really hard means. So let's try that again. Aiming it straight at the tree, go. And it just moves itself out of the way, which is really awesome. Aiming it right at the tree and let's go. That's pretty sweet that it just gets out of the way. I don't know why it's beeping so much though. There's like no obstacles. And one more for good measure. Let's see if we can get it up to speed. And if you give it enough time, it'll move out of the way sooner. And then reorient itself. That's all well and good if it can do it going forward. Let's see if we can do it going backwards. It's gonna be harder to line up because we don't have the camera. And it does it backwards too. Like I was saying during the uh, the obstacle avoidance video uh, with active tracking is this little thing has some serious tech behind it uh, to get it to avoid all these obstacles. There we go, aiming it right back at the tree. I think it might have been my fault. Okay, we hear the beeps. We hear the beeps this time. All right, now something that we're gonna try out. I'm not sure if it works or not. Yeah, I was going to try out sport mode, but it says A-Pass is disabled in sport mode. So as much as I'm sure we'd all like to see my drone smash into the tree, we're not going to do that today. So next up, now that we've tried we've tried the tree, uh, let's try these, uh, like let's find a good, good smattering, maybe a copse of trees. Right in front of us there's a good, there's a good amount of trees. Let's go try that out. So we're going to try it. We've got like a whole bunch of trees up here. Let's see how well it does. Okay, dodges the first tree. Slows down a little bit. Dodges the second. Is it is it dodging it? it? Yep, it's all I'm doing is pushing the stick forward. Dodges the third tree. All right, the third tree seemed to be a little bit too much, so let's turn it around. We'll try it again. Okay, dodges the first tree. Dodges the second tree. Dodges the second tree. Now it's coming back. Does it dodge this branch? And it dodges the branch. Nice. The sun is definitely washing out all of these, all this image. Let's try over here. Dodges the first tree. Dodges the second tree. Dodges, oh, nope, it's gonna wreck. Okay, here's like four trees in a row. Okay, got itself tangled up in some branches, but it didn't wreck. I'll leave that in since everybody yelled at me for not leaving that in in the active track video, even though I did leave it in. 
and let's bring it back. So I think we've gotten some pretty good shots so far today. You can see that the drone will dodge around trees. It does a really good job in coming up to them and avoiding them. However, sometimes it does get stuck up on, it'll get too close to a tree, and if it gets too close to an obstacle, it can't determine which way to go. So if you're trying to fly it and keep it going around an obstacle, you gotta give it some breathing space uh, to make that decision whether it's gonna go you know, to the right or the left. So we've seen how it works around trees, uh, kind of how DJI tested at their press event. Let's see what it does when it comes up to a building, and then we'll see like why would you even want this? Like what purpose does this serve? Because if you're manually flying the drone, why do you need it to dodge obstacles? Shouldn't you be able to dodge obstacles? Right? Let's check out this building. There we go, and we're back. All right, so now we're up to a building. Let's see how well A-Pass works, you know, flying up to a building. Personally, I don't think it's gonna work too well, but you know, DJI surprised me before. Definitely didn't dodge it the first time. Well, it kind of, it kind of did at that time. Low battery warning. All right, let's switch out a battery, try it again. So the second time, it did kind of move, but I think that's because I had it lined up a little more to the left. If you're doing it straight on, it just doesn't have a path to go, so it doesn't, it just won't pick anything. It'll just stop. But it had a little bit of, a little bit of left leaning bias there, and so it did, it did make quite a, quite a move to the left. So. Let's, check. let's switch battery, try it again. Wind is definitely picking up, you can probably hear it, so maybe that'll affect it a little bit, but let's see. Let's give it ye old shot. Okay, here we go, we've lined it up. Full power. If you give it a little bit of help, it will, it will do it. Okay, so we did a whole bunch of tests. Let's head back to the house because it looks like we're gonna have to check all the footage back of the house because it's getting kind of, it's getting too windy out here to do anything else. So, see you in a second. Ooh, and we're back. So what do I think, now that I've checked out all the footage, you guys have already seen it, of the Mavic Air's A-Pass system when you're flying? I don't really understand it. I mean, yeah, it's cool. I, I appreciate that it comes up to an obstacle and, you know, is able to move around it, but if I'm flying it, I can do that already? So I don't really understand it. What I think the best part of A-Pass is, is when it's active tracking you, it'll dodge obstacles to keep following you. Not necessarily when you're using the controller, because you should be able to avoid obstacles that way. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. What do you use the A-Pass system on the Mavic Air for? Or if you don't have a Mavic Air, what would you use the A-Pass system for? I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Also, click that subscribe button down below. We do Drone Flight Friday every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out that yeah, the A-Pass system on the Mavic Air actually works, but I don't really have a use for it. You can figure it out. Thanks for watching. It is also time to thank all of the patrons to the channel. Without you guys, seriously, we wouldn't be able to do the awesome things we do here. Thank you so much, so much, so much. Albert C. Jeff Baker. Wayne Dawson. Nick Alston. Wally Garza. Victor Orhan Sarios, hopefully I said that right, Stan Cook, Rodney, and Steven Shires. Thanks again to each and every one of you. You guys are my personal heroes. If you'd also like to be mentioned here or invest in the channel, you can go to our Patreon page linked here and support the channel.